ATS will present the best science in the world in pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine. It is multidisciplinary and includes relevant expertise beyond respiratory medicine so that basic translational and clinical researchers can map solutions to shared problems. People give your research attention, uh, so it's, it's awarding to show your results, to, to share them with the world, because that's what you're doing research for, to, to get it known so other people can benefit from it and the whole field can benefit from it. The ATS is the place where the best science in our field is presented, and I have always been involved with ATS ever since my fellowship and would encourage all junior professionals to do the same. You really have the premier people in each topic, and they're really telling you like the state of the art, what's going on. I will never forget the first time I I showed a poster at the ATS and it changed my life just coming to the meeting and presenting my work and talking with the names on the size of textbooks. It's a two-way street of education. The emphasis on science benefits clinicians, not just scientists, who want to be at the forefront of medicine. There is basic science, there is academics, there are clinicians, but I think that we all leave here better because there's that cross-pollination. The lectures and the talks have been a lot more clinically relevant to me and they're not so esoteric. This program is, is awesome. We've been doing ultrasound, we've been doing bronchoscopy, all kinds of things that were going to be pertinent to when we begin to learn prior to going into fellowship. So it's been a wonderful opportunity. I'm very thankful to be here. I came to ATS 2015 as a clinician to learn more, to take care of patients. That's what I do, and it's been very favorable so far. It's always nice to hear about the pediatric talks as a pediatrician. I'm actually learning a ton from the adult side, too. It is collegial, fellow-friendly, and a great place to network with world leaders. You get top of the field in different areas, uh, all attending the same conference at the same time, so it's a great place to network. The conference has been good uh, for my career because it's given me the chance to see what other people are doing and to see what else is going on in the centers around the country is really helpful. It gives you new ideas, helps you um, think about where the field is going to move in the future. You can find mentors in the areas of your interest, which is really helpful. It's well planned, well organized, and it's so obvious that they put in mind the residents, the fellows, the faculty. The faculty is so engaged, and um, from all the conferences I've been to, this has been well organized, considering the amount of people that come for the ATS. Its most value uh, lies in the, in the diversity, so you can see how different people do different things, and you can talk to them, ask them, why do you do it? like that and benefit from it yourself uh, by implementing new techniques or, or form new collaborations with, with different researchers all over the world. Well, it's always really good to meet people at your same level of training. And a lot of us have similar interests, a lot of us have very different interests, but it's really great to get to know the group of people that you're, are going to be your contemporaries as you as you mature on. I come to the ATS almost every year for reigniting my passion in research and uh, pulmonary disease. The exhibit hall is an integral part of the attendee experience. If they have anything to do with a pulmonary space and they're not at this meeting, they're missing their best opportunity to engage with their customers. It's a really nice opportunity to talk with people across the globe and get an idea about what kinds of areas of focus they have for respiratory research and development, how they're treating patients. This is the single best opportunity for us to interact with pulmonologists in the respiratory environment, which is a mainstay of research and development and has been for decades. Industry scientists are welcome and their contribution to the dialogue is essential. It's a big kickstart and you learn a lot. As we practice medicine day to day, it feels small. When you get everybody together, you realize what all is going on kind of in the broader community, how many people are thinking about the same things you are uh, and really trying to help patients. I've really been able to see in these 10 years the translation between basic science research and novel things to do to make patients' lives better. All of us that come here leave better as doctors. 